It all started when I was watching Ipo's Vox on YouTube talking about OBS Studio 27 and how there was this extra option for stinger transitions. Hey guys, get level here and apparently OBS Studio 27 is going to be amazing. But something that I'm the most excited about, I haven't read all the patch notes, is the Stinger Transition option that allows you to have a track mat, a luma mat, an alpha mat. What does that mean? Right now, Stinger Transitions are simple. You basically play a graphic in between scenes so that you can basically hide that cut or that fade transition. So let's say you are in scene hey. right now. I'm going to play a Stinger Transition. And now you're on scene B. So that's what a stinger transition is. It basically allows you to play some fancy animation while you're switching scenes and other to make your stream look a little bit more professional. Please, please, please go watch Epos Vox's video on that subject. I will link it in the description. So in case you didn't know, if you're learning about stinger transition for the first time, I make stinger transitions. I even put them up for free. Some of them, at least. If you go to gumroad.com slash get level, I have a bunch of them that are completely free. I even have Adobe After Effects templates, which you can put your own logo in there and have your own custom stinger transition for nada although if you want to donate i don't really mind but the new thing about the track mat for transition is that not only you can add those graphics but you can also manipulate what people see on the scene b so going from scene a if i wanted a little bubble that opened up here showing me scene b and then stays there maybe wiggles a little bit and then boom transition is complete and i reveal scene b completely i can do that i can do whatever i want you want some like paint dripping animation in between those scenes yes you can do that so the best example i have is normal current stinger transitions are those magicians where the lady is gonna hide herself and then change her clothes and then put it down she has different clothes that's normal stinger transition right now new stinger transition with additional track mat is mystique basically transforming in front of you okay and you can make it happen she can just and then it shows you what it's going to become part by part it is that is that a good answer anyways let's keep it simple i want to try this but i don't want to put custom stinger transition i don't want to put any graphics now that i have the ability to manipulate the full transition between scene a and scene b I can do whatever I want with it. I don't need graphics. I can just make scene B show up in weird different ways. So there's a single transition effect in Adobe After Effects that I love called CC Film Burn. And I want to make like a stinger transition that utilizes it. Let's see what it will look like. Okay, so we're here in Adobe After Effects and we're going to create a new project. All right, I'm going to go in the middle here and click new composition. We want our stinger transitions to be usually like super, you know, short. So usually two seconds is just fine. So I'm going to put two seconds here, 60 FPS to make it super smooth and 1080p because that is our base canvas. Let's click OK. And now here's the thing. It actually uses the principle of, you know, Luma mats really. So the color white is going to reveal and the color black is going to hide. But in this case, the color black is going to be the first scene that you're already on and the color white is going to be the second scene scene b if you will so we basically need to add some black and white well we're gonna need a black background for sure let's uh click here and then click layer click new click solid and we're gonna make sure this is pure black okay so this is gonna be scene one nice so we have a new layer that's just black and then i'm gonna do the same thing but i'm going to add a white one so solid you can also press ctrl y and then go white okay okay now as simple as it is we're gonna go in the effects and presets and we're gonna type film burn burn and we're gonna drag and drop it to the white layer and we're gonna play with the actual burn so this is what it looks like okay so this is what i want to see like i, I would like to know what it would look like as a transition in obs so we, we just need to animate this so it needs to start with black actually because it's going to be the main scene that we're already on so we're going to put burn on 100 click the stopwatch go to our last frame right before two seconds and then drag it down and if we play it it is just the animation just like that if we don't like you know the specific way it shows we can definitely you know play with the random seed and now it looks you know more random i like this though okay now we can just render this add to render queue Control m i'm gonna select a uh, quick time animation we don't need rgb plus alpha rgb should be fine and let's save this we're gonna call it burn mat and click render until you hear the little sound 
All right, now let's open up OBS Studio 27. Okay, so right now I have scene two and scene three, and those are just, you know, basic scenes. This was like a promo for some uh, overlays, for some camera overlays. By the way, those are free. You can get them right now at gumroad.com slash get level. And uh, I, we will be switching between those two scenes, okay? So let's go scene two, and I'm gonna click on scene transition. I'm going to find Stinger. This one is technically already customized, but let's go to properties and this is track mat. But here's the problem here. I already have a Stinger, so I'm going to make sure that I delete this. So I just click defaults to make sure I get rid of my current Stinger transition. And now we have no Stinger transition at all. Hopefully it lets us use the track mat, even though we don't have a file for the Stinger transition. All right, here we have the options, same file side by side. So that is if you had like a graphic plus a, a, a Luma mat or track mat, basically the mat. <laughs> same file stack, Stinger on top, track mat at the bottom, separate file. So here is what we need. Warning, mat can get out of sync. We don't really care because we don't have an actual media that plays with it. So track mat video file, boom, let's go find it. Burn uh, mat is right here. Okay, and you can invert the map colors. If you messed up between the black and white or whatever, uh, you can make that happen. Okay, so that's pretty good. Um, I think we can preview this transition now. Let's see what it looks like. Oh my God, that works. So you don't even need to have graphics. You can just play with the track map. Let's click OK and see what it looks like uh, here. It probably won't look as great, but still. No, not bad. Yo, I like that. That's pretty smooth. So if you want something super simplistic, that that works. That works. <laughs> Come on. Switch to this. All right, that was super easy. I will definitely be playing more with the whole track map thing because I think it's it's pretty revolutionary right now. There are no streaming softwares that allow this. I don't want to I don't want to say anything wrong, but Streamlabs OBS definitely doesn't have that. I don't think XSplit has it. I've never used XSplit before. So OBS Studio is definitely on top of things when it comes to this. So the track mat I just made, I converted it into a uh, WebM file just because the file size is way smaller. I want to see if that's also compatible. It's right here. Burnmat.webm and preview transition. And yes, it works. Oh my God. <laughs> Okay, so this will definitely be available probably on gumroad.com slash guy level. Check out the description for the link. And in the meantime, I'm definitely going to be working on a little pack, maybe some cool little transitions that I can think of that are maybe just track mat, maybe a combination of graphics plus track mat. I think that would be cool. Big thing to note is that by, at the time I'm recording this video, OBS 27 is not available yet. I had to get like a beta version of it. Luckily, the cool people at OBS Project actually tweeted about it and they want more people to test it. So they have have that link i will also uh, put that link in my description and if you're watching this in the future probably obs 27 is already out anyways gumroad.com is where you're gonna find that, that track map that we just created but a bunch of other uh, overlays camera overlays transitions and all of the good stuff that you need as a live streamer something that i need to plug a little bit more is my tiktok i am on tiktok at gal level so go check me out there and also my twitch duh i stream on twitch i make videos about twitch streamers i, I do stream on twitch also at gal level <laughs> thank you so much for watching this video youtube will show you a bunch of stuff you click on them if you want to and i will see you guys next time go out there make me proud get level out